Yesterday, Carl Anthony Towns posted a video on Instagram telling us that his mother, unfortunately, is in the hospital suffering from a coma due to this illness that's going around. I'm not gonna say the name of it because the algorithm doesn't really like it when we do that. And I'm not trying to make the algorithm mad at me or something, so I'm not gonna say the name, but I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. In the video, Carl Anthony Towns was basically on the verge of crying, and I don't blame him for that a single bit. To be honest, I actually kind of applaud him for just staying strong in front of the camera. Even if he started crying, like who am I to judge someone for crying when their mom is in a life or death situation? But the fact that he was able to keep his composure says that he's a strong guy and everyone has to respect that. So Carl Anthony, I highly doubt you're ever gonna watch this video, but I'm just putting it out there. You're a strong dude and I know you got that from your mother because in the video you said your mom is the strongest woman you know and that you know she'll beat this. So us NBA fans, we're, we're rooting for your mom. This is just one small battle, but you know we know your mom's gonna win the war. So Carl Anthony, we're praying for your mom. The whole NBA community supports you. Now, yesterday when the news broke about Carl Anthony Towns' mom, I was about to hop in the shower. And so while I was showering, I thought, you know, it would be really nice if Joel Embiid like reached out and said something publicly about this. Just because, you know, those two are always beefing on social media and they're always they're always going at it hard on the court. I thought it would be very professional of Joel Embiid if he were to put his basketball beef aside with Carl Anthony and just say something positive on social media. This morning I woke up and I saw Joel Embiid had tweeted something very kind to Carl Anthony and just wishing his mother the best. Now, I'm a Laker fan. Lakers are the only team I'll ever like, but even though Joel is on the 76ers, not only do I think he's a great player, I think he's a great person, especially after seeing this. And I've seen Joel Embiid do a lot of nice things in the past, but something like this, when you have beef with somebody and you're willing to put that aside to publicly wish them well, wish their mother well, I think that says a lot about a person. And Joel, I gotta applaud that man. Like that's that says a lot about you, dude. Carl Anthony said that he made the video just to tell the public to take this situation seriously and to practice social distancing. Some of you might be wondering, Ray, why haven't you shaved? Uh, why is your hair all like messy? Well, let me tell you. So it, it has to do with this whole situation. I'm not just going off track for no reason, okay? Carl Anthony said that this whole situation is serious, okay? That's like the point I'm about to make. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I'm in college and I, I go to college in Reno, but I live in, in Vegas. Reno and Vegas are like eight hours away, so I typically just fly because who wants to drive that, you know? Now, when I, when I first got to Vegas for spring break, I was only gonna be here for like five or six days and then I was heading back up to Reno. And because of that, I just forgot to bring my pick, okay? I brought the sponge, but I forgot to bring the pick. Nevada was actually one of the first states to go into lockdown, so I haven't been able to go to the store to get like razors or go get a pick or anything like that. And in addition to that, my flight got postponed. I was supposed to be here for five, five and a half, six days, and now I'm gonna be here for 41. So that's a huge difference. And Joe, sorry, and Carl Anthony is telling people to take this whole situation seriously. And I'm like, bro, absolutely. I see people here in Nevada hanging out with each other at the park. I've seen people here in town just uh, posting pictures with their friends on social media, and I'm like, you guys have to be kidding me. Medical experts are telling us to practice social distancing and you guys just wanna like hang out with your friends, do whatever, like, oh, we're so cute. We're posting pictures together. Guys, this is serious. Medical professionals have been saying it. NBA players have been saying it. Yesterday, Carl Anthony Towns said it. I don't know why people are just refusing to practice social distancing as if this were some sort of joke. You guys know how much money airlines are losing? They wouldn't just postpone my flight for no reason, you know? So that, that's really all I, I had to say about this video. I'm not gonna be like one of those YouTubers who extends their video to like 20 minutes to get more money or like, I don't even make money on, on this channel because uh, you need a thousand subs and this channel's new. So it, it doesn't even matter to me though, whatever. That's pretty much all I had to say. Please stay safe. Now guys, just some tips to stay safe. <clears throat> tip number one, wash your hands. Tip number two, smash the like button. Tip number three, hit the subscribe with the bells on. Number four, social distancing and stay in your house as much as possible. I'm not a medical professional, so I'm just telling you guys the things that have been said to the public. Oh, and binge watching my videos tends to help. So I don't know, just 
binge watch them. That's about it, you guys. Me and my brother's dog are gonna go edit this video now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow if there's anything to talk about in the NBA. Goodbye and stay safe.